ever wonder why chilies feel hot? Capsaicin triggers pain nerves, fooling your brain into sensing fire. Though there's no real heat, just a spicy illusion. Heat Scale ranks peppers by heat from zero unit bell pepper to two million unit Carolina Reaper. As number climbs, burn intensifies, measuring capsaicin concentration. That's how we judge how much your tongue will sizzle. That fiery chili? Not a vegetable. It grows from a flower and holds seeds, so botanically it's a fruit. Actually a type of berry. Spicy and sweetly classified. Wonder what makes a chili pepper hot? It's a chemical called capsaicin. This powerful compound tricks your brain into feeling a burning sensation even though there's no real heat. It's all a spicy illusion. I don't think chili seeds bring the heat, but the hottest part is the white pith attaching them. That's where capsaicin crowds. Slice a chili open, seeds fall mild, while those spongy ribs are the blazing zone. Capsaicin sting makes your nerves scream, so your brain floods with endorphins and dopamine, natural painkillers and pleasure chemicals. That's why a blazing bite can flip into a happy rush, a literal pepper high. Capsaicin's in oil, so water only splashes the fire wider. Milk's casein protein latches onto the oily molecules and sweeps them away. Swap that glass and the blaze turns to bliss. Hit the orange, one chili packs more vitamin C. This little fire fruit can top an orange's amount, fueling your immune system with a zesty kick. That's a healthy dose of heat. The Carolina Reaper clocks more than 2 million Scoville units, about the burn in police pepper spray. This tiny fruit is literally weaponized heat. Ooh, tomatoes scattered like hop stones. Excuse me, everybody. It's coming through. <laughs> Boing. Woo, spicy trail ahead. Chili Lane, I'm all yours. Mmm, shiny, warm, and perfect for a hug. It's a pepper party in the sky. Ha, 